Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Bitcoin, the weekly close and what we expect over the next few days. We talked about a crash that's coming in and more correction for the altcoins and Bitcoin. And this happened right now. What is next? Can we go higher? Can we go even, even lower? Let's find out. So before we continue, do not forget to join our monthly subscription. The third tier has only one spot left. Everyday trading, scalping strategy, personal guidance, educational videos and many other benefits, including money currently back. Do not forget to join us because this is an absolute, absolute monstrous trading system out of there. Thank you so much for watching. Let's go right now to see what Bitcoin is going to do. So eventually this is the one to one price to bar ratio gun fund right here, the yellow line. I have squared the chart from the bottom to this top. If you want to find out how to square the charts properly, I have a tutorial video uploaded in YouTube, how to properly draw the gun fund to search it out, watch it. It is very educational and informational. Right now we are going to see what we are going to do. So Bitcoin weekly scale, right? You remember that we talked about if Bitcoin closes above the 21.8k, this will be a good sign. However, what Bitcoin did, not only it closed below the 21.8k, this line right here, but at the same time, we are getting rejected right now. So that means for me, more correction is coming, okay? The fact that we closed below the 21.8K, around 21.780 we closed below. Now that means that we are going to get more rejected. What are the next price targets? First of all, the 1-1 one, one gun fund line, which we can go there today. 21,000 Tether USD. We might be going even lower to the 20.4k. Now, closing below the 1-1 one, one gun fund line in the daily frame, because I have squared the chart in the daily frame, okay, it matters where you square the chart. I have squared the chart in the daily frame. So that means the 21k is the very huge support level right now for today, for tomorrow it is going to be something else. 20.4k is the next support level. And if we fall down from there, then we are going to retest the 200 day moving average, which is close to the 19.7, 19.4. I'm not sure what we are going to do for now. For the time being, for Bitcoin, we have these targets. Now for Ethereum against USDT chart, you can see right here, for Ethereum that it is a little bit going further down, same as Bitcoin, okay, so you can see in the weekly scale we are at a minus 1%, Ethereum is at a minus 2%, obviously Ethereum in the weekly scale is underperforming against Bitcoin because it has corrected more. At the same time with Ethereum, what we do we have right now is more correction coming. Now, for Ethereum we have multiple support layers near where we are. So for example, for the altcoins 1.1463 and 1435 around there to 32 is the next support level that we are expecting for Ethereum. Okay. I think that seeing the patterns that we are having, it is not the case that we would we will have a bull market anytime soon in the lower time frames. I mean, so for example, do not expect a huge bullish market in the next few hours to the next few days. Okay, probably this is another week of consolidation. This is another week that we are going to go down. Now, Ethereum is very likely to retest some uh, of the resistance levels right here. Okay, for example, this line right there. Okay, so we might be going down to retest the top trend line. All right, so therefore that means that we can even drop down from the 1348, right? Okay, this, as I talked about for Bitcoin and as well for Ethereum, it is not scary. Do not worry about that. If I want to find more major resistance, uh, actually support levels, for Ethereum, I would draw the FIB from this bottom to this top. You can see that the 1463 is also the 0.236 Fibonacci retracement and the 20 DMA. So for now, for Ethereum, this is a very huge support level line, right? For Ethereum, the 1463 would serve as a major support level. It is very possible that we go there and find a little bit of a buying pressure, then go down again. Now, the bullish scenario for the altcoins and Bitcoin would be if we can hold this line. If we can hold this line right here, then we will explode. However, if we fall down behind it, then we are going down 
to retest the 200 day moving average and probably very likely to go down crossing to the 1337 around there this is going to be a minus nine percent correction huge correction for bitcoin and for altcoins right now I would suggest you to be extremely careful with what you buy with what you are doing into the non-logarithmic scale we are near but into the non-logarithmic scale we would have another gun box okay so for example right here i would suggest you to wait a little bit please be extremely extremely careful the 21k is very likely to come in for bdc you need to be extremely careful as where you long positions and be careful of xrp i'm going to make a video of xrp today so i want to mention the truth behind xrp the truth of a possible collapse and not what many people think about a huge buying opportunity do not forget to join our monthly subscription third tire has only one spot left thank you so much for watching have a fantastic day see you soon bye